My name is Pat Cox. Uh, I'm uh, chairing this session. I have the pleasure to chair uh, an informal uh, group that has uh, worked together over the past few years called the Innovation Board, and our board will meet after this particular session. And uh, we're joined today, I think, by a, a distinguished and interesting panel on our second topic in terms of themes, but a core topic in terms of this event, and that is the question towards global collaboration and innovation policy. I suppose the thought crosses our mind, if, to go back to the earlier introduction, if we look at it, the something short of $3 trillion globally of uh, G20 stimulus packages, $200 billion plus, depending on what you're counting in or out, on innovation and uh, science and research education policy, and significant commitments at the G20 level to doing significant things together, in particular on regulation, global governance, and so on, to do with learning lessons from the banking crisis. We have to see the detail, but at least there's a commitment in principle to act. We have a very significant amount of uh, work uh, going on everywhere that there is uh, automobile manufacturing in various issues and efforts about survival or disappearance or restructuring or whatever will happen. A good deal of that may be more competitive than collaborative, uh, but anyway, it's, uh, it's a similar theme uh, in global terms. But in the innovation space, interestingly, whatever is going on is going on in the different places separately, but there doesn't seem to be much thought about are there some of the things we should do collectively. So really, that's the purpose of this panel today. Are there some things would be better done together? And if yes, what are those things? Are there some issues around doing things better together? And if so, what are those issues? And can we get some kind of a takeaway from the panel in terms of some uh, interesting uh, ideas? What, what I might do, um, simply in terms of the range of panelists in front of me here, is to work my way across the panel as they sit and to uh, invite uh, their comments. To my immediate right is uh, Bonnie Mehomakulu, who is the Deputy Director General of Science and Technology Directorate in Pretoria in South Africa. Bonnie, if I could ask you a little bit to locate for us where you are in South Africa on this innovation journey, if I might call it that, and in particular on our theme, what do you look to or hope for in respect of ideas about collaboration? Thank you, Pat. Um, I come from a, I guess, a fairly young system of innovation in South Africa. And as government, we've decided to look at the issue of innovation in a two-prong way. The one part of the strategy is to look at building the national system of innovation. I'm going to talk to that briefly. But the other part is to look at South Africa as a player in a, a very interconnected global system of innovation. And on that part, uh, we've created a pretty strong um, part of the department that's looking at international cooperation. We have science and technology attaches in various parts of the world. Uh, we have one um, sitting with the commission to network what we're doing in South Africa into the um, uh, uh, global players. And we have one sitting in Russia and one in Japan. And we're supposed to have one in, in South America and one in North America. And that's to ensure that South Africa is networked in the, global, um, national, in, in the global system of innovation. On the national system of innovation uh, part, as I've said, it's a fairly young system of innovation. Over the past, I'll say, 20 years, South Africa has focused on building the science system. And at the end of last year, it's 2008, we have our Intellectual Property Rights Act uh, signed by the President 
We, have, we had our technology innovation agency at, uh, start, signed by the president. And with those two instruments, we're trying to um, address what we call the um, innovation chasm. In the developed world, it's called the value of death. The, the disconnect between research and development that's happening at the university and the activities in, in our industries. And uh, by establishing the Technology Innovation Agency, we're trying to put a bridge between um, the university research and industrial activities. And that bridge will have a number of components to them. One is a fund, um, a government has put a, an innovation fund, uh, a billion rands a year, uh, which is quite small um, when you compare to um, other international players, but it's, it's a start for South Africa. Um, with that fund, we're going to have um, innovation hubs, and the hubs are to the, 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 the last panel talked about uh, connecting um, researchers and making sure that entrepreneurs are able to c come together and share ideas. We're establishing those hubs in South Africa. We're also putting in place incubators to ensure that uh, when entrepreneurs come um, to the innovation agency, they're able to be directed and to be um, assisted with their ideas and the market studies and, and um, assisted with intellectual property questions that they might have. Alongside that, we're also establishing what we call a national IP management office out of the IPR um, Act. And that is going to look at the establishment of offices of technology transfer at the universities, because traditionally universities in South Africa have concentrated on research for the sake of publications, and not research that will have a socioeconomic impact. And, and government is investing in the establishment of these offices of technology transfer at the universities. And uh, they will be coordinated by this NIPMO, and the NIPMO will, will have a fund, a patent fund, that will subsidize the patenting activities um, of, the, of the universities and entrepreneurs. Over the last 10 years, South Africa has stagnated um, in its patenting activities, and the uh, government is trying to stimulate that uh, through this uh, patent fund. So there are a number of activities that we're putting in place to ensure that we're able to build our national system of, of innovation. This does not happen in isolation of the basic research um, activities. We've always had a national research foundation and we're increasing funding for basic research with a focus on increasing a PhD um, graduate level in, in, in South Africa to ensure that we establish that uh, foundation for, 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 for R&D. Now, on basic research side, uh, a good example of um, collaboration that I've seen that South Africa is participating in with Australia is the Square Kilometre Array. Um, and that's an example where 19 countries have come together and they've set a goal about um, increasing or, or increasing the level um, of um, um, radio astronomy research in the world and they're looking at building this infrastructure together. I think we can do the same in, um, in climate change. We can set a global agenda and have nations working together towards a certain agenda. And the issues that we share as, 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 as a globe, uh, that we have concerns, that need scientific solutions to, we can use the model that has been used globally for the SKA for, to answer some of those questions.